Nissan Qashqai is the car that started the small SUV trend and from its launch in 2007 has risen to become one of the UK's best selling cars. For a long time the Qashqai dominated its class but it now has tough competition from the likes of the Seat Ateca, Volkswagen Tiguan and Peugeot 3008. In recent years its crown has slipped slightly so will this new version help to restore its place on the small SUV throne. In this review we'll tell you how easy it is to live with, what it's like to drive and which version is best. But before we go on, let us remind you that we can help save you money on your next new car. Find out how by going to whatcar.com and visiting the new car deals section. Still with us? Let's find out what this new Qashqai is like to drive. Our pick of the Qashqai's engine range is the 1.5 litre diesel we're testing today. It's gutsy enough to make good progress and it's relatively quiet. Plus it emits less than 100 grams per kilometre of CO2, making it a good choice for company car drivers. There is a more powerful 1.6 litre diesel, but it's not as efficient or as quiet. If you won't be doing enough miles to justify diesel, there's a 1.2 litre petrol and 1.6 litre petrol. And if it's mainly driving around town that you'll be doing, we recommend the 1.2 litre petrol. The Qashqai was developed right here in the UK, so it's no surprise that it rides battered British roads very well. It can feel a little jittery on really broken surfaces, but on motorways and country lanes, it feels very well controlled. Just make sure you avoid the larger alloy wheels because these make the ride pretty firm. The Qashqai suspension setup controls its body through the corners too, and road and wind noise is kept to a minimum even at motorway speeds. There's plenty of adjustment in this seat and the steering wheel adjusts for reach and rake. So you should be able to find a comfortable driving position. And if you go for above the entry level model Vizier, you also get adjustable lumbar support. Like most SUVs, the high driving position means forward visibility is excellent. You don't get rear parking sensors on Vizier and Ascenta, so in those models, parking can be a little bit tricky. If you would like them, you can go for the N Connector, which also gets you front parking sensors and 360 view cameras. The Qashqai can't match premium rivals such as the Volkswagen Tiguan for interior quality. That said, there are soft touch materials on the areas that you're likely to touch and everything does feel pretty solid and well put together. In fact, it does have one of the best interiors for its price point. Vizia and Ascenta Qashqai's get you a traditional stereo with Bluetooth connectivity, but we'd recommend going for N Connector and above, which adds this seven inch touch screen and gets you DAB radio, satellite navigation, and a USB socket. But it does not get you Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and it's not particularly slick either. Any family SUV must be practical and it's good news for those considering a Qashqai because there's loads of space. Driver and passenger can really stretch out, although we don't recommend driver doing that if they're driving. There's also plenty of storage for your everyday items including large door bins, two cup holders here, more storage here and here, and inside the armrest is somewhere to store snacks and bananas and a decent size glove box. Move to the rear seats and there's plenty of leg room and headroom so adults should feel quite comfortable. In fact, you can fit three adults side by side for short journeys. And although storage isn't plentiful, you do get these seat pockets and there's some cup holders in the door bins. The Qashqai's boot can accommodate a large weekly shop, a couple of sets of luggage or some golf clubs. And if you find yourself needing to move some bulky furniture, you can drop down the seats to create even more space. 
The Qashqai can look expensive next to some small SUVs, although it will hold on to its value better than most of them, and it will be cheap to run with most of its engines returning impressive fuel economy, especially the 1.5 litre diesel that we recommend. On the safety front, every Qashqai comes with six airbags, stability control and a system which applies maximum braking in an emergency. An optional smart vision pack also brings lane departure warning and automatic emergency braking. When it was tested by Euro NCAP in 2014, the Qashqai was awarded a full five stars. Overall then, the Nissan Qashqai remains a terrific family car, even if it's not quite as good to drive as a Seat Ateca. For plenty more on the Nissan Qashqai, including our full online review, head to whatcar.com. And before you go anywhere, hit subscribe so you never miss another video.